and Corey, if you want to stop at the podium, you can do that. We're going to do the same type of form or, or format as the segments prior to. We're going to have a two-minute opening statement, and we're going to start with Mr. Corey Rogerson. Good evening. Uh, thank you all for hosting this. Thank you all for having me here. Uh, my name is Corey Rogerson. I'm running for sheriff here in Buford County. I was born and raised right here in Washington, North Carolina, on a farm out on Horton Station Road. Uh, I've spent my whole life here. I currently live in Chocolate with my wife and my four-year-old son. I do want to take some time to thank her. We have been going at this for 15 months now, and it's been nonstop, and, and she's held down the fort at the house with a, with a little one, so I, I do want to thank her for that. I'm a quick learner, time's short, so I'm going to jump right into uh, what I want to bring here to this county. Uh, we got a serious staffing issue. Uh, very serious staffing at, at the sheriff's office. We're short sure about 14 or 15 people right now. We have to go out and recruit and recruit hard to, to bring uh, some deputies in here and then retain them. Uh, there's no doubt about it. 100% I want to bring our deputies back into our schools as SROs. Um, I, I've seen it firsthand. I got a little one that's getting ready to start school. I want him to have the best protection that he can possibly have. And, and I believe that's fully at the sheriff's office. You get the whole umbrella of the sheriff's office. Uh, you get the administration, you get investigations, you get narcotics, you get patrol, you get communications, you get all of it. Uh, we got a drug problem and, and we got to continue to fight it and fight it hard. Uh, I'd love to look at expanding our narcotics unit at the sheriff's office. Uh, that way we can continue to fight this problem. They're, they're coming in from everywhere. Other counties are pushing drugs out of ways and we got to fight back and, and, and try to eliminate this drug problem that we have out here. Uh, I'm very big or on community involvement. Uh, I think we need to be out there involved with our community, attending events and also hosting events. Uh, I think the Sheriff's Office can put on some events to bring our citizens in. Uh, that way we can get some questions answered, ask some questions, and, and have a good relationship moving forward. Uh, I look forward to answering the next few questions over the next few minutes. Thank you all. Thank you, Mr. Rogerson. Our next candidate is Mr. Scott Hammonds. Hey, good evening. Thank you for the invitation. My name is Scott Hammonds, and I want to tell you my 32 years of experience of protect and serve has been my background. I take it very seriously. I've been a veteran of numerous deployments at management and leadership position, uh, not just here in the United States, but abroad in very serious conditions. So my management to bring leadership to a, a uniform group and bring, uh, bring the togetherness, bring training, is very, very important to me. Uh, tolerance. My tolerance for training is very high. I've had many, many hundreds of hours of training. And I believe what we're missing is the opportunity to get training in de-escalation and, and other items that are important to me as a leader. As a veteran of the Highway Patrol as a manager of troopers, we understand what enforcing the laws, enforcing them fairly, enforcing them uniformly. I take pride in that. I've been talking to deputies and their leaderships and around our bordering counties and what they take pride is, is how these drug enforcement guys work well within bordering counties. We must take this continuous and take it serious to reduce crime here, reduce the drug usage, reduce the drugs from coming into our county, and I will unify with the other sheriffs here to keep pushing these drugs further and further away from Beaufort County. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Hammonds? We're going to rotate y'all around on who answers first on these questions, and we're going to ask you the first question first. Okay. And that question is, how do you view the sheriff's responsibility for working with local schools? So how do you view the sheriff's responsibility for working with local schools? You have two minutes, Mr. Hammonds. The sheriff's responsibility to schools will be the same as responded to any event anywhere in any other category, whether it be a bank robber or anything. We're coming to secure and protect. The current status is we do not have deputies within the school to be a interaction with our students and our student body. I take that as a deficit. I believe our deputies create a foundation or a, a beginning, a start of orientating themselves with the children so they can gain trust, 
so they can educate them, so they can be mentors, and that's the component we're missing with deputies directly in the school. The security of the chef himself, I will always be as a certified uh, manager in physical security, as a planning operations uh, first sergeant in the Army National Guard. I had the experience to go in and look at those schools, create an assessment on, on each property, which is very much uh, spoken of earlier, which is very much a needed product. Each school has its own unique footprint. Each school has its own unique signature of what security it needs. One school don't necessarily need one deputy. One school don't necessarily need two deputies. All of our schools, we need additional patrolling deputies who can respond from school to school. So there's a dynamic of what is safe and secure, and I had that specialty to bring that to the table, to bring security to the schools. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Hammonds. And Mr. Rogerson, we're gonna give you that question and then you can remain at the podium for the second question, okay? So the question is, how do you view the sheriff's responsibility for working with local schools? Uh, obviously, safety is the, the first and, and main concern at our schools. Uh, and like I just mentioned before, it, it starts by, by getting our deputies back into our schools. I can't sit up here and tell you that that is 100% going to happen, but what I can tell you is that I will 100% uh, work with the school board and our county commissioners to get our deputies back in there. I will do everything in my power to provide that safety and security at our schools. Uh, we owe that. Our kids are our future. If we're not investing in them, then, then we don't, we're not going to get a return from it. Uh, so we have to protect them at, at all costs. Uh, I, I firmly believe that is that is with the sheriff's office uh, and our deputies being involved in our schools. Uh, not only is it best for safety and protection, but it also gives us opportunity to build our relationships with these kids and, and grow in our future with them. Uh, they look up to these deputies and our school resource officers that are in the school. Um, Starting off, uh, obviously there's a contract that we have with Allied. Uh, so starting off, we, we got to provide assistance with Allied uh, to, to beefing up the security at our schools. Uh, I'd love to, to provide some deputies considering staffing. Uh, that's our, our ultimate goal is to get our staffing up. Uh, but provide some deputies to assist with Allied, uh, making sure that we have an armed security guard or armed deputy at, at every single school. Uh, that is valuable. It is important. Uh, it's, it's hard to protect somebody if somebody comes in there with a gun if you don't have one. Uh, radios has, has been an issue with, with Allied. Uh, they don't have a communication system. They, they talk to each other by phone, uh, and, and that is a safety concern. Uh, so we have to do what we can to, to get our deputies back in these schools. Uh, but it starts by building relationships with our school board. Uh, from what I understand, they, they want to guarantee uh, that deputies will not be pulled out, out of the schools. That is the easiest guarantee that I can possibly give. They will be there from doors open to doors closed. Uh, and we will provide the best security within the sheriff's office. Thank you. All right. Mr. Rogerson, you're going to take this question first to keep you from having to walk right. across the stage so much. Okay. So the second question, which you will be answering first this time, is what is the biggest threat to public safety in Beaufort County and how would you address it? The biggest threat to public safety in Beaufort County. You have two minutes. The biggest threat to public safety is our staffing. I, I mentioned before we have 14 to 15 openings right now. We have to do everything we can to go out, recruit, and recruit hard. I started my career right here. I went to Billy T right here. I graduated on this stage. We have to come to these local community colleges and recruit from within. Uh, we are dealing with a different generation right now. They want to feel wanted, and we have to go out and recruit and make them feel wanted. Uh, we have to bring them in. And they, they're not knocking down the doors to get into law enforcement these days. When I pulled up in the parking lot, I saw our, our Billy T program uh, running outside. There was five people. You got a lot of agencies that are fighting over five cadets from Buffer County. Uh, so we got to do better about recruiting and recruiting hard uh, to get in here. So the, the biggest concern is our staffing. Uh, we have to increase our staffing. We have to get back to full staff uh, or, or close to it. That is our biggest concern for our deputies. That is our biggest concern for our citizens. Uh, that will reduce our response times. Uh, it'll, it'll increase our responses to calls. Uh, right now we have four zones in this county. We have a deputy in each zone and, and a supervisor that kind of floats around a little bit. Uh, we got to increase that. 
we're allotted for seven deputies per shift right now, but we don't have a single shift that has more than five. Uh, that is an issue, and that is an issue that we have to fix. Uh, and that's by bringing, bringing more staff in, going out and recruiting and bringing them in. Uh, that way we can provide them on the streets to give us better safety uh, for our deputies and for our citizens. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Rogerson. Yeah, I'll repeat the question for you, and once you finish with your response, we'll leave you right there so you can start the closing statement. So the question is, what is the biggest threat to public safety in Beaufort County, and how would you address it? The biggest threat to public safety. Well, that's a multi-pronged thing answer because personnel, lack of personnel, definitely is our national issue, which trickles to our local sheriff's office the second part of that is the geographical footprint that we live in we're blessed with a beautiful county with the water that divides it but let's make sure that the river is the only thing that divides this county recruiting look i teach the greatest enjoyment about law enforcement if you are selected to be an instructor a trainer of people i've been a trainer I instruct here at Boca Community College. I teach cadets. I've been teaching here for many, many years. When I came through BLET here in 1992, there was 40 of us in basic law enforcement training. There's seven to 10 attending now at any given time that may graduate. And out of those seven to 10, all of them are not promised for Beaufort County Sheriff's Office or Washington PD or even in our jurisdiction. So our biggest threat nationally will be personnel until the attitude and the trust comes back to the leadership of our local law enforcement. If you, the community, don't have trust in me, when I come to you and tell you your sheriff will come truth, no matter how you feel about Scott Hammonds, I will always come with the truth to you, and that is what makes our community safer. I believe I will be that uh, candidate, I'll be that sheriff, who will bring that trust, I'll bring you the truth. You may or may not like it. But I can't change the dynamics of that river, but I promise you I'll manage, I'll manage it to be a geographical, um, not to be a problem of staffing. If we got Bellhaven, we got patrols here in Washington, we've got to consider the patrols going Thank to you, Bellhaven. Thank you, Thank you. Okay, but we're going to roll right into your two-minute closing statement. So when you're ready to start, please start. Well, my closing statement is over there in my... <laughs> well, you wait? Is it over there? Go get it. You can go get it. I was just keeping y'all from having to go back and That's forth. Great. I should have been best on that. Look, I want to say thank you, everyone, for coming tonight. This is about the sixth, seventh uh, forum. And for it to be the most serious job in this county, in my opinion, to get one minute, two minute here and there to tell you it is it's crazy. But I just want to tell you, I have campaigned for 18 months around this county to gain your trust. My concern is you. I got into this campaign because I had serious doubts about leadership in this county. Both for County came through. You had doubts about the leadership in this county. And I will say thank you for allowing me to come and represent Beaufort County in the general election. I come for the last 18 months, I come with the truth. I come with the qualifications. I come with experience. You cannot excuse my 32 years of experience given back to this government or to this community. My 27 and a half years in law enforcement is is being for, for myself and for this community. What I want to tell you is I want to hold town hall meetings in each of the communities in this county to get your voice back to the sheriff, to me. That is security. That is how we connect the community to the sheriff. Not to the deputies, not to the police, but to the sheriff who holds this, this uh, trust from community to the office. I work hard to gain trust with the community and the county commissioners, the school boards, to get our deputies back in the school, the SROs. 
I want to first I want to thank all the deputies that work for Beaufort County. You're doing an outstanding job. Continue to strive through this process until this election, and you have my back when it comes time to stand before you, swearing you in. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Mannings. <laughs> Mr. Corey Waggerson, two minutes for a closing statement. We are facing a very critical election uh, for the future of this county, for the future of our sheriff's office. Um, my experience is, is every year that I've served, I, I did 10 at the Washington Police Department, I did two at the sheriff's office, uh, and now I'm currently at the hospital in Greenville. Uh, but my passion and my heart to serve is right here in Buffer County. That's where I want to come back to and, and serve for a long term. This isn't a short term goal for me. This is a long term goal. Uh, I plan on getting in the office and, and staying in the office. Hopefully you, you enjoy seeing me for a while. But all my experience has been right here in our local law enforcement agencies, and that is very important uh, when you're seeking an office in our local law enforcement agency. Uh, and that is, that is the big difference that, that sets me apart. Uh, I don't care what party affiliation you come from. I have not been bought, I can't be bought, and I will never be bought. Uh, I'm here to represent everybody in this room. I've never, not once in my career, went to arrest somebody and said, hey, are you a Republican or Democrat? It doesn't matter. I'm here to represent everybody equally and fairly across the board. Uh, I can't stand anything that creates division, and unfortunately, politics is, is one of the biggest division creators in this country. Uh, I stand firm in what I believe in. I stand firm in my stances. Nobody represents me but me. Uh, and that's what I can promise you moving forward uh, as a leader, as a, a representative of this county. I will work hard to make Buffer County a safer place for you to live, uh, regardless of what walk of life that you come from. I appreciate everybody's support that I've received so far. If you have any questions that have not been answered up to now, please feel free to reach out. An informed voter is the best voter, and I look forward to seeing everybody. Vote for Corey Rogers in November 8th. Thank you all. Thank you, Mr. Rogers. Thank you to both our sheriff's candidates and all the candidates that have um, spent some time with, here, with us here tonight.